So there have been a lot of speculations about the iPhone 14, multiple leaks and rumors considering this upcoming iPhone. And at first I thought that it was a little bit overhyped, but after analyzing some stuff, I agree that it's definitely something of a big upgrade that's coming up. And one of the leaks and maybe rumors that's coming up very frequently is actually the one about iPhone 14 having Touch ID. Touch ID returning to the iPhone 14, whether it's in the form of fingerprint scanner directly in the button or maybe below the screen, just like other phones have it. But you know, I actually don't agree with this stuff. And the recent situation with iOS updates actually showed us that this may not be the case at all. And the reason for that is that if we actually, let me explain, if we actually go back in history, Apple replaced Touch ID with so-called Superior Face ID, which offered greater security. And overall, it was the future that Apple predicted for iPhone and that's sticking right now. And the thing is that we've been in this COVID pandemic stuff for two years. And don't you think that if Apple wanted to introduce the Touch ID, it would be here already? And it's not. And the latest iOS update, iOS 15.4 update, the betas actually showed us that Apple gave us the new feature to the Face ID, which now is supposed to work with glasses as well as with the masks, which also proves the point that Apple is not necessarily for implementing the Touch ID to their iPhones right now. Because like, if you're investing more and more software features and more and more, you know, engineers and stuff like that to design a software and, you know, connected with all the components of the phone so it will actually recognize your face differently based just on the area around the eyes, it doesn't seem like they are to implement Touch ID to the iPhone. Like, think about it. If you were to put Touch ID, sure you would still improve Face ID to a certain degree and you would have done this a long time ago. And it hasn't happened at all, to be honest. Like, we've been expecting it with maybe 11 Pro Series, 12 Pro, 13 Pro was the high time for that. And no, nothing happened. So like with the iPhone 14, well, it's possible, but the latest iOS 15.4 update actually shows that this is not entirely the case. And like, if you're improving Face ID to the point that it will be good with masks and it will be good with glasses, which was the main argument against Face ID, and now it's gonna be solved, are you really gonna implement Touch ID again? I mean, think about it. Apple didn't implement that feature, even though when Face ID was kind of handicapped during the height of the pandemic. Like, we wore masks and it wasn't functional at all, I can tell you. But now it's about to get way better and solve main problems that people complained about. So like, if the more I actually think about it, the more I actually realize that this is not entirely the case and I wouldn't expect Touch ID to be in iPhone 14. Simple as that because the face ID is getting better and it really doesn't make sense right now, at least for me, at least for the logic that I'm thinking that if you're improving face ID more and more it's, and it's becoming self-sufficient kind of in the pandemic, are you really gonna introduce Touch ID? Well, I feel like the face ID is still, you know, the face of the iPhone, uh, the face of the Pro iPads, and the Touch ID is more like reserved, like iPad Air, iPad Mini, you know, the slower end products. And Face ID remains just strictly for the iPhone because this is the future. And like, if Apple is about to remove the notch and, you know, maybe bring some hole punch display or any other form of design, anyway, reduce the notch again, like they are working hard on Face ID. So does it really make sense for them, you know, to just steer away from that and go back to Touch ID or bring two of these biometric um, authentications at the same time? Well, it would make sense, but I don't feel like this is the Apple's logic, you know? So that's my thinking behind it. I'm really curious what you think, whether Apple is gonna introduce the Touch ID to the iPhone 14 or not, or not necessarily. You know, me personally, as I said, I don't really believe that, but hey, I may be wrong. Just the logic I point out that there is some evidence, there is some thinking behind the fact that Touch ID is not really coming back to iPhone 14. So yeah, I hope that despite this kind of negative news, you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe for more content like that. Smash that like button if you enjoyed and until next time.